Hi everybody, my name is Marjorie Klein. I'm the licensed clinical social worker here at the Bariatric and, Weight, Bariatric and Weight Loss Center. And that just means I'm the talking counselor person and I've been asked to do some small vignettes to help our folks at home in their weight loss journey while we're not meeting in the office. So the first one I've chosen to do is on just cravings. So I'm gonna present this idea of how to cope with cravings. And we all know cravings are normal. We're gonna have cravings. I had a physician once ask me about um, cravings and, and if they go, or no, it wasn't a physician, it was a patient asked me if the cravings go away. I said, no, cravings don't go away because you have surgery or you're, you've lost your weight. Cravings is a natural part of life, especially if you liken cravings to like an addictive pattern, which I do kind of think that, you know, a lot of the eating patterns that patients are dealing with are very similar to other addictive patterns. So you will have cravings and it's not that that's bad, it's just figuring out how to cope with it because they are real. So one of the ideas, I'm gonna give this handout to Sarah to post for you guys so you can look at it in more detail because there's a lot of good information here. But the idea is that cravings can be like a wave, okay? And, you know, we know cravings are triggered by, you know, where we go, people, places, things, feelings. But when you have the craving, it's like a wave. And when the wave will crest and then when it hits the shore, it tends to dissipate. So, I think that um, what, you're, what, you're, what we're trying to introduce is ride the wave, get on top of the wave. Don't go up against it full force. You go up against it full force, clench your teeth, get mad, I can't stand this craving. It's gonna knock you flat, just like any wave, if you go right up against it. So let's talk about riding the wave. Um, it's called urge surfing. Um, one of the things that I liked about um, the information here said it's kind of like some kind of martial arts, which I don't know anything about martial arts, but that you kind of engage in the power with the opponent and then you use that to help. And the same thing, you're engaging in that power of the urge, not fighting it, kind of, and then surfing it. So, um, So you're joining the force. So the inventory, what we're talking about, three basic steps to urge surfing is just, and this is basic mindfulness stuff, and we'll, I'll do some t discussion about mindfulness, but it's basically really getting in touch with your body and trying to figure out what's going on when you have this crest of, of the urge. So the suggestion is get somewhere where you can have some time alone, comfortable, and really start paying attention to what is going on with your body. I think that a lot of people that are dealing with chronic obesity have really disconnected from the neck down. They're really not paying attention to how they feel. They're not paying attention to what's going on in their body. And I think a lot of what I'm trying to do is get people reconnect with their bodies because that is a really good place to help you figure out how you're feeling. You figure out, okay, what is the sensation? Am I really satisfied? Am I full? What is that? So this is all about reconnecting with your body and asking yourself things like, okay, where where is this craving? What am I really feeling? Am, am I feeling it in my mouth? Um, it's like, am I tense? What is going on with my body? So that you can start just really connecting and feeling more mindful about what's going on. And this will give you some ideas of things to ask when you're doing that mindfulness exercise. Um, the other thing is, it does also do a relaxation exercise with mindfulness in this hand at a well, but it, it also does talk about distractions, and I think distractions do work when you have cravings. Three Ds, delay, distract, and make a decision on what you want to do differently, and I like this handout because other handouts have said, or other information has said 10 minutes to get rid of a craving. This one says 20. I think 20 is more accurate. So, you know, delay, break that impulse. Don't give in to the urge. Break the impulse. Um, distract yourself by doing something else, whatever it is, whether it's listening to music, taking a walk, one of my favorites is cleaning. Um, and then kind of reflect back on what are all the reasons that have, that you're pursuing the weight loss journey and trying to break away from any kind of disorder eating patterns that you have. So at any rate, this is, this is a short, idea about using urge surfing to cope with cravings please download the handout that we've given to you and um, call if you have any questions thank you